Uh, hi, I'm Cheryl, and I teach the computer classes at the main library. And today's class is ways to listen to music online. It's called Music on My Smartphone. But this is not just limited to smartphone. You can get it on your tablet, you know, your iPad or your computer. Uh, it's just that it's really convenient to have it on your phone. And we're going to be talking about quite a few different websites today. So I'm not going to be going into any of them in depth. Um, I'm going to show you each website and just like the basic what it looks like and here whether or not you have to sign up for it or not. And a couple of little tidbits about it. The first thing we need to talk about is the difference between streaming and downloading music. Streaming is when you're connected to the internet and it just plays it on your speakers just like you're listening to the radio. If you're listening to the radio, you don't have a copy of those songs when you're done. That's what like streaming is. Downloading is when you can actually get a copy of the song and put it on your computer so that you can listen to it later when you're not on the internet. Okay. Also, uh, there is something to be aware of when you are uh, using your phone. If you are streaming music and you are not connected to the internet, that is going through your cell phone services uh, website or uh, satellite signal. And you have something called a data plan which puts a cap on how much uh, data as opposed to you know phone calls how much data like music or internet stuff that you can use a month and if you go over that they will charge you extra it's like uh, using up your minutes kind of thing except for internet stuff so that will use your data plan. If you've got an unlimited data plan, you can listen to streaming music all the time and it won't, you know, be a problem. But if you have a cap on your data plan, which most of us do, you have to be aware that listening to streaming music uh, will use up your data plan. If you're not, if your phone's not in a Wi-Fi, using the Wi-Fi signal. If your phone's using a Wi-Fi signal, like if you come to the library and get on our Wi-Fi or go to McDonald's or Barnes and Noble or uh, you know Starbucks any place that has free Wi-Fi that won't use up your data plan minute so just be aware of that also another thing to think about is that you are not allowed to distribute copies of this music if you download a song and you have it on your computer it's easy to say oh well just make a copy for you know my friend such and such that's illegal okay it's pretend it's a book okay if it's your book you can't make copies of it and go on distributing them to someplace somebody you have to loan the book to somebody think about it like that you have one copy that you can legally own. You do not have the rights to send copies to other people. Um, if you like their music or whatever, share a link to their web to the to the website you got it from, so that your friend can get their own copy legally. Okay. So I'm going to start with websites that you can download free songs. And then I'm going to go on to websites that have streaming music. Now, some of them have both. Um, the streaming ones, the ones I'm going to talk about, uh, you can listen to the music for free. but there's one thing you have to think about. If they're going to give you this free music, they're not doing it out of the generosity of their heart for the most part. Most of the time, 
they're doing it because they get paid ad, they get paid money for the advertisements like on the radio they are able to broadcast you free music because they they get advertisers and you have to listen to commercials a lot of streaming music websites are the exact same way you have to listen to the advertisements the commercial breaks now usually they're not as many as there are on the radio usually it's only one every uh, uh, like a 30 or 45 second ad every i would say 10 minutes or so which is not too bad they usually have though um a paid option if you decide you really like their service and you just want to get rid of the ads uh they have a subscription fee where you can do that and the ads will completely disappear but it's not necessary uh some of them you will need to create an account and i went through and i, I believe i created accounts with just about everybody that i was put on your handouts um some of them don't even require an account you can just click the button and listen uh, you will have to listen to ads but you don't need to sign up or anything or give them your email, but a lot of them you do. And I'm going to talk about a couple of pay streaming services uh, besides that, um, because there are there are some pretty big ones. And then I'm going to end up by talking about a couple of library options for free uh, music downloads. One that we subscribe to for uh, anybody who has a library card with us and one that we don't subscribe to but two other library systems in the Kansas City area do. The Kansas City, Missouri and the Mid-Continent Systems subscribe to a database uh, that I'm going to talk about and you are allowed to get a card there. If, if you live in our area we have an agreement with them that you, you, you can get a card there. You can even click on the uh, website and uh, get an e-card or electronic card where you don't even have to go in and you can use the databases and 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 stuff like that it's a, a wonderful database when we get to it i'll show you okay i'm going to share my screen with you now um i'm going to turn on the sound so that you can hear what i'm hearing but if i start playing music and you don't hear it let me know that means i did something wrong Okay, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to turn on the sound. Share sound. There we go. Okay, so you should have gotten a handout uh, that you should have gotten. I sent it out yesterday afternoon. Um, if you didn't, check your spam folder or your junk folder and see if it's there. It should be called, uh, I think, Ways to Listen to Free Music Online. The first one on there is called Gemendo. Uh, a lot of these, some of these websites are for new and independent artists. Um, and frankly, independent artists and new, new bands and things are more likely to give you a song or two for free to build up their fan base than established artists are. So a lot of these, you might want to, you might find new people that you didn't know were out there because they're brand new. So Gemendo um, is one where you do have to sign up for an account. And this is what you get um, when you when you sign up and log in. You can create most of these places. You, uh, you can create playlists, the ones that you have to sign up for an account. Uh, they will usually let you create a playlist uh, so that you can, it's like a mixtape for those of us who are old folkies. And it gives you, here's their featured uh, songs and then uh, hot selections, uh, playlists uh, that were picked by their musical experts. So you'll see it's like 38 tracks, 36 tracks, 41 tracks. These are ones that you can listen to just straight through and you don't have to click anything and it'll play all 41 tracks here. So let's do a, the chill zone. You can also do a search for a special kind of music. 
up here on the top where it says search for independent music. Uh, if you have a particular genre or style you like, you can click up in there and type it and it will look for ones. Now all of most uh, of these streaming services will have these features. So I'm only going to explain to them, explain uh, the first one to show you what it what it does. And then after that, I'm going to just maybe point out where it, the, the search is on the screen and it works just like the other one, that kind of thing. So here's the one. Uh, if you want to stream and play all of it, you would click the play button here. If you want to play, uh, listen to just one song, you click uh, the play button on that song. Over here, anytime you see a heart on these websites, that will add it to your your favorites. Uh, this three, these three dots with the little lines between them, that's the uh, internet symbol for sharing, where you can share a link on your social media or in your email to somebody. Uh, this is going to add it to your playlist and this is the symbol that most places use for a download. This website actually lets you get free copies. So let's say if I wanted to play this one song to listen to it, I hope you can hear this. I'm going to turn my volume down. Okay. So you will have a a slider control. This is to skip ahead. This works just like your your DVD player. This is to skip to the next song in the playlist and you have the same uh, symbols here down here. And if I decide I want to download it, I just look for this little download symbol and I click on it and I get this. Now Gemendo, this is an interesting one because if you decide to make a video like a family vacation video and put it up on YouTube. You cannot just use any old music because uh, they can get it taken down off of YouTube. And if you do it three times and three people make a claim against your videos for using their music, then um, you can get your YouTube uh, account revoked. So you can actually get a license. Um, for this song to use this song in a video. Now that might cost a few dollars, but you know, it's available if there's a possibility. I mean, if you want that. Uh, we have another one. The next one I'm going to talk about though is also lets you use music and videos. If you don't want to use it in a, a video or anything like that, you just want to copy for your personal use. You just click here right there. Uh, it will come up. You tell it where to uh, where to save it. I'm going to save it in my music. And I'm going to click save. It will download it and then uh, you will save you will have a copy of it. And that's how the downloads work for the free musics. Um, and most of them work this same way. So but they just have different uh, kind of focuses uh, for their services. So that's Gemendo. So I'm just going to go to the next one on the list and I'm going to just talk a little bit, a little bit less about each one. Okay. Oh, and also if you're an artist, you can uh, upload your music and get on here uh, for, you know, to host your, your music. If you don't have a website or anything where um, people can listen to your music, you can use this as kind of a hosting service. So I'm going to close this one. We're going to go to the next one on the list, which is free music archive. Now these are ones that are free music royalty free, which means you can use them in videos and anything like that. Um, so the search, the FMA, the iconic creative commons, music community um, that is a, a little bit different um, that's ones that you can listen to and download but not use in videos 
if you want to search pro you can use you can search it here and it takes you to uh, these musics here you can search by genre in here uh, let's say blues and let's click on one of these and, and like before you click on the little play symbol little triangle to listen to it okay and then you can pause it with the pause symbol this is also this also has a plus uh, to add it to a playlist if you this one does not require a login but if you want to create a playlist you have to create a login the little shopping cart symbol is uh, to uh, put it in a shopping cart just like you were shopping around and then get uh, a license to do it. Um, for this one, if you want to download the copy, here's the download symbol right there, and you do have to have a login for. Um, Okay, yeah, you do have to have a, a, a login and I forgot to create a login for this one, but it works the same way. Exactly the same, except this one has uh, some also free licenses. Okay, the next one is noise trade. These are also indie uh, musical artists. The only difference with this one is uh, it was created as a public as a, a publicity thing for the independent artists. So for most of these, to get a free download of the song, uh, you will have to agree to get their email newsletter. So let's see. Let's just click on the first one. So it says here: enter to email to stream and download full tracks. Uh, so this one lets you listen to uh, maybe clips or not even listen to any of them until you give them your email address so uh, so you trade your that's why it, um, it's called noise trade because you're basically trading your email for music Some of them may actually let you listen to a few clips, um, but that doesn't seem to be doing it on my computer. But it also gives you a little bit about the musical, about the artist and um, their background and things like that. So that's what noise trade is. It's basically a way to get people for their, their newsletter and their publicity. Uh, lists. Bandcamp was created as a sales website for independent artists and small labels to get their uh, own storefront because creating a website with uh, a store option where people can uh, buy your things is, is very expensive. So this Bandcamp created this website with the store option and you can um, you can listen to them if you want to download. Okay, so here's this one. Alright, that's very pretty. And this one also, uh, some of them have a, a cost to where they uh, set the cost. Some of them, like this one that says name your price, which means they will accept. If you want to buy the whole album for $1, you can do it. Uh, if they might have a minimum price listed, but if they just says name your price, they usually will take whatever you agree to pay them but you can listen to them streaming for free like here this is a 
This one was sold for five pounds. This one was sold for one dollar. So this one was sold for one dollar. So you can buy this whole album for a dollar. Or you can just sit here and listen to it. That's very pretty though. I'm going to have to remember that one. So that's the difference between Bandcamp and Noise Trade. Noise Trade is to get on their email. Uh, they want your email addresses to send you newsletters. Bandcamp, they really want to sell you them, but a lot of them will take whatever amount you can afford to pay. That Piff uh, is a website that is specializing in hip hop and rap music. The artists, some of them are, are fairly well known, some of them are just brand new starting, and I honestly don't know enough about rap and hip hop to know who the established artists are. But they can create mixtapes that they will let you stream for free. Right here where it says mixtapes. Let's see newest mixtape. Okay. Uh, let's just see what this one does. You click on one. Here's where you can stream it. Here's where you can download it. Now, if I click download, it's going to say I'm not a robot, download it, and I can uh, save it right, right there. And it's a compressed folder. Um, so because there's multiple songs in there, it's uh, called compressed. So when you go onto it and you go into your list, uh, you will see, uh, I, I just put it in my music folder. You will see uh, the folder for it where it says mixtape and it has a little zipper. How you get that, all those unzipped, it's kind of like smushing them all together so they take up less space. You have to click on it and then you should get a, a tab up here that says extract and then you click the little button that says extract all and it will unsmush the music. So you see that was very easy to do. Stream, uh, like I said before, stream means you're going to listen, you're going to just play it. Now, uh, I am not going to do that because I know a lot of rap and hip hop contains some questionable lyrics that I should not put on the, re the uh, recording. Um, and then here's singles, which are individual songs, uh, upcoming, um, which are the ones uh, that they've picked as as ones that are interesting and they're coming soon. Okay, so that's an interesting one that's different than the others because it specializes specifically in hip hop and rap and specifically in mixtapes. All right, the next one on the list is the Internet Archive. And this one is not just music. It's also got some podcasts, some public domain audiobooks, and it also has some live recordings. Um, the Internet Archive is not just audio. I have just featured the audio section. The Internet Archive, you can also search for old books. Uh, old magazines and uh, lots of things in the public domain you can uh, search for here. I'm just featuring the the audio part here. And you can, they actually have a live music. See here's uh, audiobooks and poetry, a uh, free audiobook, non-English. The live music archive is interesting because it's one of the few places that recorded that has recordings of live music, uh, actual concerts that you can uh, play. And 
And I'm going to go back. There are some that are free. Um, a lot of these are just streaming. But a lot, some of them you'd have to, in, individual ones may be downloadable. And some of them, this, these, like these here, here is stream only. Obviously, it says stream only. Some of the others, depending on which song you're listening to, may be uh, ones that you can download, but it's an individual one by one basis. Now, this one's an interesting one. I like it's not music now, but it is old radio programs, which I love to listen to sometimes, you know. I listen to the old um, the old radio programs that were like the dramas, you know, the 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 shadow nose and things like that. They're so fun to listen to for me. But you can see all the different categories they have. And look, the Boston Public Library recorded all of their LPs so that you can listen to them. This is a great one to listen to if you like interesting old things that you're not going to find anywhere else. Now, Amazon does have some free stuff. Amazon is normally for sales. But sometimes they have free things that the, the, the musicians will say, hey, for a month you get my free album or whatever and they'll put it in this section but they don't make it easy for you to find okay they do have a free section listed with the rest of their music but it's not actually all free and i'm going to show you if you're on amazon and you click all and then you have the uh shop by department where is it here movies or music digital music and then you click on a genre, let's say blues, and you scroll down to the bottom, there is a free songs, top free songs, which you think would have free songs based on the name. Look at the prices. None of those are free. If you click on see more free songs and sort by the price low to high, sometimes you will find some free ones. But they don't want you to do the free ones. So I have included a link in the handout straight to some actual free ones. Now, none of these are going to be, you know, the big name things. And they're going to always push their music service, which I'm going to talk about in a, in a minute. But I can listen to a snippet of it here. And if I don't like it, I can click on the yellow button that says free. And then you, you go through uh, the purchase like you would a normal purchase. Um, it's just they won't charge you anything. Okay. And you'll notice their Listen Now button is bigger than the Get the Song Free button. This Listen Now is a paid service. It's their Amazon Music streaming service, which is not free. So that is why I included that big old long link. And if you have Microsoft Word, you can just click on that. Uh, you can open up the handouts and just click on that link. Uh, if the link's not clickable, you can copy and paste it up here in this box and it will take you to the to the right place. 
because Amazon does not want you to find their free songs because they're in the business of selling them. They have them. They don't want to tell you they have them. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to talk about streaming, simply streaming sites that are more streaming than download. All those other services, somewhere on there, there's ways where you can actually download some of the songs onto your computer. These here are strictly streaming. Now, they will play ads just like regular radio, and uh, most of them have a, a paid option if you want an ad free. Um, most of them also have apps that you can download to your mobile devices and use uh, without having to go to the websites. Some sites, some of these services will let you skip a song you don't like, but some of them will only let them let you do that on the paid version. Okay. Now the first one is I, I've got a couple that PC Magazine said these first three were some of their editor's choice, which means they like the way they worked. LiveX Live um, has, they like the way they curated their stations and they have fun playlists. Now you can actually listen to their top stations without signing up. But they will also say sometimes, some fun. yeah, see, there's an ad. Peter in the theater this Thursday. There's your ad that you, before you can, okay. And then do, the music do, comes on. Teeth, checking in. Yes, sir, man. And you'll get an ad, uh, you know, once in a while. But you notice then that was just a five, five second ad. Uh, usually there'll be no more than 30 seconds. That's probably the longest ad. I've had on a streaming service. This one in particular, uh, when you listen to some of the station, the some of the radio stations, you can listen. They will have an option that if you watch a longer ad, like if you watch an ad that's like a minute, minute and a half, you will get an hour of ad-free music if you watch it all up front. So some of them, some of these uh, stations here do that. If you're looking for a particular station or a particular type of music, there's the search button. If you want to save a link or playlists or anything like that, uh, or your favorites, you can actually sign up for an account, uh, which I didn't bother doing. Now, the next one that PC Magazine liked was called Spotify. This is what it looks like when you sign, when you get to it. Obviously, they're going to put their premium paid version up here for uh, first. If you scroll down, there's where it click where it says get Spotify free. And it will take you to uh, this page where it asks you to download Spotify. You can log in and then it will ask you to download because Spotify has its own music player that you can listen to things in. And it asks you to download the app first. It's not a big deal. It doesn't put a whole lot on your computer. I did it, here it is. Oh, it's got an ad here. All right, now, one, this is what Spotify looks like when you're going to play it. Your, your search is over here where you can search for, um, up here you can search for artists, songs, or podcasts. Now, Spotify is a little different because it not only does it have a download player, uh, it doesn't play straight on their website, but it also has a large selection of podcasts. Now, podcasts are like, uh, like radio programs, but they're just like at usually half an hour or so, maybe less than an hour. And a, a lot of different things 
here. And the reason I, I actually signed up for a Spotify account was this. There was a podcast where Bruce Springsteen and Barack Obama, who are apparently friends, did a six-part kind of mini-series podcast that you can listen to them basically talking about different topics. And you can listen to it or you can download it uh, a lot of times, uh, depending on what the song is. Most of these are just listenable, but the, uh, the podcasts, the so songs, a lot of most are streaming, but the podcasts you can usually download uh, because they're longer. This one is like 53 minutes. So they expect you to be able to download them uh, onto your device to listen to later. Um, and here you'll see ads keep popping up and it does that. And here you can create a playlist. There's where my liked songs would appear where I hit the little air, the little heart. Or in this one, I clicked a check mark. And that's how you would listen to Spotify. I, I can't wait to listen to that Barack Obama one, even though it's not music. <laughs> okay, the next one is called Deezer. Uh, PC Magazine says that it's uh, a good blend of traditional streaming music, uh, live radio, podcasts, and some exclusive content. When you first create an account, which they just, most of these places just ask for your email address, a password, and maybe your address. Or not your address, I'm sorry, maybe your birthday. Because a lot of times um, they need to make sure you're old enough to listen to the uh, explicit lyrics. So they're covering their rear end by asking for your, your birthday. When you first sign up for Deezer, it will show a list of artists. Um, and I think they geared it toward my age because a lot of them were from the 60s and 70s and 80s um, but a lot of them were new and i went through and i clicked on the different ones where i liked their music and that creates a recommendation list you have to do the same thing when you sign up for pinterest you you have to click on three different categories that you like in order for them to start creating recommendations for you and then you can play i i selected i have a wide variety of musical interests so um this one they it was sting and diana crawl i picked and then this one i like punk music so i picked the clash and the ramones and so this is a plunk a punk list that they chose for me and then here's Wow, this is interesting. Metallica and some classical stuff. Interesting. Oh, you can also search for a song up here. Okay. Oh, see what this is what uh, a lot of people have been searching for. You can, uh, here's where your favorites are. And they also have podcasts here. And then you can browse through genres. Whenever you see browse, they'll just have the genres up here and uh, then they have the playlists you can listen to and that's just it's pretty easy to use um now the handout i sent to you said um PC Magazine said the free version needs to be listened to on their mobile app, not a computer. Um, if you have Windows 10, I you can download the app onto Windows 10 to listen to it on your computer from the website. Uh, so that's not it's not exclusively a mobile app. 
The next one is Pandora, which you can browse through browse through their selections or you can search for an artist or a song um, and they can create a, a streaming kind of channel based on the song that you selected even if they don't have that song available because not everybody has all the songs i collect yeah here i uh Here's ones I've listened to in the past. Uh, yeah, here's a song. Here's one I created. I like I, I like that the feeling of this country song, Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. And it finds songs like that. And it may not have this. It's it's basically um, upbeat honky tonk country, and it just creates a, a basically a a radio station for you, based on one song that you give them that you like, or you can do ones that other people have created by listening to this. Yeah, I put in Hamilton and it, it created a, it gave me a list of Broadway show tunes that I listen to once in a while. This is one I have on my iPad and so I listen to it a lot. It's, it's very simple. You don't, you can't do ones like, I like this one and create your own mixtapes and things like that. This is strictly a streaming service where you listen to what they play just based on what you select. So it's not as many options as some of the others. The next one is iHeartRadio. Uh, and you can just, you know, get started, get the app. They also have, they have music here under playlists like Pandora does. But iHeartRadio is interesting because it actually has radio. When you sign up, you told them what city you're in, or they, they search for it based on your computer. And if you're in a major metropolitan area, it will... Uh, show you what radio stations you can actually just listen to here's ones i can listen to the actual radio from my phone okay. it also has podcasts too or you can search up here for an artist or a station let's see lady gaga let's see what what we get from her okay so. i didn't ask for a it's called Lady Gaga Radio, which is uh, songs from her and similar songs. And you can, you can do that. So each one of these is very similar. It's just kind of like tweaking the idea just a little bit. This one is called Accu Radio, which is actually completely free. You don't need to sign up. You don't need anything like that. Some of them are ad free. Uh, each day they have a special genre that's ad free. And you don't have to listen to any ads. Um, but other than that, they and, and I like AccuRadio because they have a wide variety of music. So like K-pop. And they have a couple of different channels here. This is the one they're featuring under Korean pop. But here's a couple others. Um, and so you can just listen. Welcome to AccuRadio. We believe you your listening little, experience little should ad. be easy and free. 
And this one will let you skip. Even on the free. Okay. And I'm going to pause that. So AccuRadio is actually one of the uh, easiest to use, I found. And with the least annoying ads. Uh, honestly, because they that's just their whole thing. They don't want you to have to, they want to make it easy on you. So AccuRadio, it, it's not the sl slickest, prettiest website, but it's the easiest one for the listener, I think. That's just my opinion, though. Next one is Django. Um, there are no commercials. Um, as far as I know, um, there are no sign up necessary. They created a, a address. Uh, they call them radio stations. There might be ads here. My browser's blocking autoplay. Um, so here we go. And it just starts playing. You can customize it. I'm going to pause this. Nope. You can customize it, uh, browse around with the different stations. Um, a song radio, I believe, is based on a particular song. And here's some other radio stations. And so this one is also a pretty darn easy for the user. Uh, AccuRadio and Django are really nice because they don't require any signups. Uh, Two more streamings. Okay. Last.fm. Uh, it's a streaming music site, which works just like the others. But it also has a section for free song downloads, um, which I had a link to it in your thing. And I'm just going to type in the address. So this is one that's kind of a combination. It's mostly streaming music. But here's a, a list of songs, 12 pages of songs that you can listen to with the little, little thing here. OK, that's unusual. Uh, well, OK, it's from a group called Death Grips. And here's the download. Okay. Oh, here it is. There's the, uh, yeah, I have it open twice for some reason. YouTube, most people don't realize YouTube is a video uh, website, but it's also got music. Well, I mean, because everybody puts out music videos, but it actually has a section for music called music.youtube.com that you get to. And just like this other streaming ones, you can create playlists of the videos just like you do in YouTube, regular YouTube, play them in a streaming fashion. And they do have a paid variety uh, to get rid of the ads. These are ones that I already subscribe to here. I subscribe to these uh, musicians uh, uh, video lists and here is a, a playlist I created of my wildly varied musical taste and anybody who is used to using YouTube will understand how it works and these are ones that I did in the regular YouTube for the videos but this section music.youtube.com is just just collects it all together and doesn't show you anything else but music videos. Okay. Now the other, the the last, the next thing I have for the actual uh, streaming services is the paid. The two big paid streaming services are Amazon Music and Apple Music. Amazon Music, um, you have to be an Amazon Prime member. 
which means you have to pay the however much, what is it, $10 a month for free shipping for Amazon service. And then in addition to that, it's $7.99 a month to get the Prime or to get the um, music streaming, which my husband did, but I don't. Apple Music, Apple used to be, they used to have something called iTunes. Well, they still have it, but it's just not as popular. It used to be the largest retailer of song downloads, the biggest seller of downloadable songs in the world. Uh, but people started switching from downloading to listening to streaming. And so they started a streaming service called Apple Music. And it's $10 a month for individuals, 15 a month for families, and five for college students. Uh, but if you want to try it, there is a, usually a three-month trial version free. Just go on their website and, and look for stream Amazon Music. They, they will push it on you. Okay. Now, the two library services, the databases that we subscribe to or that you can get access to for free. Uh, ours that we have is called Hoopla. And if you're on our website, kckpl.org, and you click eCommunity, and you scroll down till you see the big blue Hoopla, there it is. If you're not in the library, it will ask you to put in your library card number and your birthday. And then it will ask you to get started today to create an account because they have an app that you can log into and you never have to type in your library card number again. Okay. Um, so let me try and remember my login. Yay, I remembered it. Okay. I usually listen to this these on an app. I have an app on my iPad and an app on my phone. And if you go to here to browse, they have a music section. And these are not, these are kind of like downloads, but they're temporary downloads. This is your checking out the, the CD, the album, just like you check out a CD at the library. If you click on it, you can click borrow which I, I, I borrow this one fairly frequently. I click borrow and it will disable itself after seven days, it will go away. Now I have seven days, I have one week that I can listen to these music, these things on my, um, on my uh, devices or I can click on them actually and just listen to them here. So, uh, how does it best orphans? So, if you're if you were wondering about Hamilton and wondering why it was so popular, at least you can listen to the music, which I love listening to the music. I think it's really interesting. So that's our library's uh, subscription service. That if you have a library card. Or if you have an e-card, you don't even have to get a, a library card with us. At this page here where you do look at the Hoopla, up at the top right, it says get a card. If you are anywhere in the Kansas City metropolitan area and you do not want to get a physical card or do not, you cannot come into the library, you can click get a card, fill out the form, and you can get a login for all of our online services that will work on anything on this page. Hoopla also has music, ebooks, and audiobooks. This will also work on Canopy, all of our databases. Flipster is a uh, popular magazines. Yeah, actual magazines, like big ones, like Better Homes and Gardens and things like that. And Access 360 is ebooks and audiobooks, but no music. Um, so that get a card will get you an electronic card here to use the Hoopla. Now you can get an electronic card at the, the other libraries too. 
uh, it'll some somewhere be somewhere up on there. Uh, how do I get a card or something like that? Uh, I've included links in your handouts to the Missouri and the Mid-Continent signups. And you can get one for both too. And the reason you might want to get one for both if you don't have one is because this next database that I'm going to talk about here, Freegal, lets you download music and keep it. Our library one that we did, the Hoopla, you can download it, listen to it, and it disables itself after a week. This one is downloading it for free. Okay. You can also, they also have streaming. Uh, you get, I've been streaming this uh, Freegal. I've been looking at playlists and um, I've been taking my phone, I've been working in the garden and I have a Bluetooth speaker that I have my phone uh, out in the yard and I have my Wi-Fi that goes out into the yard and I stream it to a good speaker. And so I listen to these playlists while I'm, um, while I'm doing my gardening. And you get uh, five free downloads a week for you to keep. And those are permanently your songs, just like the, the other downloads, but there are no, no tricks or no gimmicks, no ads, no nothing. Okay. So let's say I like this one. I'm going to click on that one. And this is like a playlist here. And most of these I already have because I own the album. Let's find something I don't have. And Crush Monday. Let's see what that is. Harry Styles things. So these are more popular ones. And if I decide I want one of those, um, over here in these three dots, I can download it here add it to my wish list, which is nice because this is, I can add stuff to my wish list. If I've already used my five downloads per week, I can add it to my wish list. So I know I will want, I will come back next week when I get five more downloads and I can download it then. I can create my own playlists just like I can on any of the other streaming services. So what you can do is sign up for a KC Missouri library card, e-card, get five downloads, sign up for the Mid-Continent library card, log into there and get five more downloads for free. And these are, are really big um, things. I mean, you see what I, I recently played well, I don't know what that was from oh a dance thing oh and here's a I was a playing a crooners playlist and some Japanese music playlist and I think before that I was doing yo-yo ma playlist and so that's I'm going to go ahead and just stop sharing now so there are a ton, a ton of reputable places where you can not only listen to music online, but get the actual songs for free so that you can keep them. All right, and it's been about an hour now. Does anybody have any questions? Um, do you have any any places that you like that you can suggest that I didn't uh, talk about? All right. So nobody else has, has chimed in. Oh, get a chat that said great info. I'll be looking at the sites. Yeah, it's all a matter of just you just click on the link in the handout and check out the ones that look like they'd fit your style. Check out the ones that don't um, don't require signups first. I would say um, before you 
create a sign up or if you had a particular genre that you saw one of them appealed to you try that one and that's pretty much it um can you if somebody have a question says can you do all this on your phone too yes most of them have apps that you can download once you have signed up let me see my phone here so i have a freegal music app right there to get into freegal um the spotify has an app i know um some of them might not have an app but you can get to them from your browser on your phone if you uh, however you get on the internet you can get to the websites and and get on there um so yeah they'll, they'll work just fine on your phone just be aware of when you're on your wi-fi and when you're not on your wi-fi so that you know whether or not you're using up your data plan minutes or time it's not minutes it's it's amount of information you stream so all right any other questions okay but uh thank you all for coming and have a good day everybody